Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure nano server uh, as you know nano server is a part of windows 2016 server so uh, uh, for till now nano server is the most smaller and fastest operate, uh, server operating system by which is introduced by uh, Microsoft so let's have some basic information about the nano server so nano server what does not include with nano server there was no login screen so it means there was no tra traditional login screen like windows client machine or windows server which is used to login so there uh, and the next one is there was no remote desktop so you cannot take the remote desktop of the uh, nano server uh, you need to manage it by like uh, by connecting the power cell or any other tools so there was no GUI or any graphical support of course there was no no GUI uh, as as traditional server or uh, graphic support or yes you can say the uh, from to 2016 or you can say 20 uh, 2012 R2 2012 there was no 32 bit operating system so for the nano server as well as we don't have 32 bit support so next you can see this is uh this is the uh, published by uh, microsoft and which uh and which seat you can verify uh, a, a comparison between nano server server corner and full server so there was a uh, very uh, like uh, critical patches reboot setup time open ports and vhd size all are very small and comparison to uh, server core and full server so next uh, let's have uh, some idea about my demo environment and my demo environment. I am I am using one virtual machine which is called Win2K16 TP4. If you want to check out here my local server Win2K16 TP4, and you can see operating system installed on Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3, 8 GB of RAM, and this is the basic information and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so I have installed basically Active Directory on this server so by default Active Directory install Active Directory and DNS on this server and additionally I have installed DSCP and Hyper-V on this server so because why Hyper-V? Hyper-V uh, I, I want to run my core server as a guest operating system on Hyper-V host so that's why Hyper-V Hyper I have enabled Hyper-V role on this server so so let's create uh, one nano server with the name of nano server tp5 with 2 gb ram so the first thing we need to cr uh, add like um, we need installation media of 2016 server so i'm going to mount the installation media of 2016 server here and my drive you can see i have a tp4 and tp5 so i'm going to use tp5 which is latest one so I have mounted the installation media here let's check out so we have a uh, like D drive uh, with the with the operating system installation media and now I'm going to open PowerShell or PowerShell ISC so I'm going to integrate it PowerShell so Windows PowerShell loading so if you browse the D drive installation media you can see we have a folder which is nan called nano server and nano server we have nano server image creator package nano server vim file and readme so nano server image have different different three different files you can see powershell script powershell data file and powershell module so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to and port the PowerShell module here. So, going to type input module, and where is the path for uh, my module? I have module in my D drive under the nano folder. So, nano server and server image generator you can see we have a module here script module so I'm going to browse it and I'm going to use parcel script and 
I'm going to Mansell Verberos so hit enter and you can see we have successfully added the module and you can see the module which have added edit nano server image get nano image and nano image server so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a na one nano server image so I'm going to type nano sorry new nano server image and then the media path where is my media path my media path is D drive which have installation media so D and my where is my base path so I'm going to create one folder in my C drive to use as a base path where I'm going to like define my uh, nano f nano server image file so I'm going to call it nano server so I'm going to nano path and under the C drive I'm going to use nano server and nano server and the target path where I want to create the create the uh, like uh, VHDX file so target I'm going to create on C drive so under the nano folder I'm going to nano server folder and I have define here and I'm going to type my name here nano server hyphen and just call it tp5 dot v hdx file and space my computer name I'm going to define the same nano server without a space we have to mention nano server tp5 and the uh, next one is what is like deployment type so I'm going to deploy as a guest so need to select guest and the next thing what edition I want to deploy so I have to select edition and edition I'm going to deploy standard so here is the all command which I'm going to run now so just click on play so it will ask for your administrator password which is going to be used on a nano server which is going to deploy so I have typed my credential here click OK so now you can see it's copying file so it will take some time and the meanwhile if you go to C drive under the nano folder nano server you can see which path we have defined nano server you can see here few files has been created like nano server vim is copied here and it's processing converting image processing you can see looking for request image select one creating spare disk mounting vhdx so now you can see it's a temporary disk has been created here So applying image to VHDS could take a while and creating MRS partition, master boot record, creating Windows partition, everything and so it will take some time to insert the core image or uh, nano server image in VHDX file. So just wait for a while.
so you can see it's done and dismounting VHDX closing windows image done now it's adding package processing like adding nano server guest package as we have defined here guest which we are going to deploy and our script so it's adding uh, Microsoft nano server guest package And now you can see the uh, temporary file uh, VHDX file name has been renamed as a server name which we have defined and a VHDX file name which we have de defined here you can see the VHDX file name nano server TP5 so it will take few more seconds to get the installation done So adding on at end dismounting image. So we are done with this. You can see the script is completed and finally we have done status the log file. If you want to verify the log file, we have log file also here. So now what I uh, we have a virtual hard disk for nano server. So I'm going to launch Hyper V Manager and going to create one virtual machine. So new virtual machine next going to type my server name nano server tp5 and click on next and going to create a generation 2 machine only click next define ram whatever ram you want to use so i'm going to use like 2 gb ram and i'm going to connect this with the production network v switch and click next and here I am going to use use an existing virtual hard hard disk so I'm going to browse my uh, nano server hard drive which we have created by script nano server tp5 browse it click next and finish so it will create the virtual machine with uh, like and after that it will attach the our nano server hard drive and I'm going to just uh, make processor 4 and click connect and now I'm going to power on this machine so you can see it's applying the settings machine is booting up so in the meanwhile I want to do something here so I'm going to create like you if you want to rename it you can rename it I'm going to create one new thing here which is need to connect with like our uh, server so here we are we can see the server is booted and I'm going to log into server with my credential administrator and my user ID password it's authenticating please wait and now you can see the server is booted up and the computer name nano server tp5 workgroup mode and we have OS installed Windows Server 2016 standard technical preview 5 and the day time and date and in the networking if you want to verify you can verify click on networking we have one ethernet connected so if you click you can uh, you will get the IP address detail of the server so I am going to connect this server from a power cell so just clear this all so I am going to type few commands here like 
and the first thing I am going to define my dollar IP of the server which we need to configure to connect at the session so my server name is IP address is 192.1.101 and next I am going to like define the command new PS session session computer name I'm going to put here dollar IP and next credential credential I'm going to define you can say uh, administrator and on the third line Enter PS session uh, S which use the so I'm going to run this so it will did, uh, get the IP address from uh, dollar IP and it will like enter PS session it will take the detail from dollar uh, S so I'm going to execute this and here we got the screen for Windows Power Cell credentials. So I'm going to put my credential here and hit enter. So you can see running running a script selection. So you can break this also if you want. So it will take some time to get connect with the uh, our nano server. can check the status here nano server is up escape is still running so now you can see we are in in the like nano server which we have IP address you can mention here our nano server IP address so now if you type the host name you can verify on which server we are so we are on our nano server tp5 which we have just deployed so this is all about you can say of uh, deploying the new nano nano server in on the hyper v host so hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any queries related to this video you can drop me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye